This is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow, the daily stock market analysis show where we look at the charts and try to understand what happened during the market today and plan for a better trade for the upcoming day. That's tomorrow, November 24th, Friday, 2023. So we had a flat bull trap day on the Nifty and we have a green close of a long time, after a few days, I mean on the banks we have a wrap up here we'll come back here before that let's get the chance right away and then understand better here we go let's take out all those and see the candle let's take all the bones here also too yeah so this is the bull tram bull tram is the price moves about the price candles high and then try to and close below the below that right below the uh, open or you know, below the close it's just below the close actually so it's a bull tramp it tramp the bulls were trying to think that it's a long it's a breakout which didn't happen to trap the bulls slightly not severely but slightly because it didn't go much down right basically it's consolidating but it's a bull tramp day and if you look at the candlestick for the nifty and the bank nifty you can see that it's an inside bar but a green a green after a long number of days how many days after seven days seven or eight trading days you're seeing a great after eight trading days you're seeing a green and still it could not take out its bank nifty it could not take out the 20 exponential moving average it's consolidating absolutely inside yesterday's candlestick right as it was very volatile, it didn't breach the 200 exponential moving average. Today, it was steady green, green close when the Nifty was underperforming on the expiry weekly. It consolidated and formed an inside bar. Otherwise, if you see, uh, the candlesticks are well above the all the moving averages on the Nifty, much more stronger than the Bank Nifty, which is struggling to take out the 20 exponential moving average at least. Price patterns, if you see, we are in the top of um, a parallel channel, trend line channel, and at the very top is where we have the bull trap, and it's something that you have to be a little bit cautious. It has breached the price action above this 9850 levels, which is positive bullish. Momentum is bullish, everything is there, but we are still at the top of a channel, trend line channel, and then we have a bull trap. We have to be slightly cautious. This could potentially be a Pull back, right? Could, right? That's how it works. Especially since the bank Nifty is is very tepid and it's not, uh, it's weak and it's uh, it's struggling. You know, all these days, eight days of you know doing nothing. The Friday we had a this big nose down fall and it has not recovered from that, right? And it even breached the two hundred exponents moving average. So. In fact, it didn't go till the top of the channel on the bank nifty. Even before that, it fell into and then pull back. But on medium term, a pullback could end up at some of the gaps at about the 9200, 300 zones, or even before that, 9500 probably. And then, since there is a Bollinger Band volatility um, expansion pattern that we discussed yesterday, that is bullish in nature, a W double bottom can get formed, and then then we have a breakout of towards the all-time highs and beyond that right. probably it may take 10 times to the election results probably till then it may be consolidating so basically it's doing nothing but it's hovering around between 20,000 and 90,000 50 and bank between 44 40 2,000 and 3,000 points strange that's what is happening otherwise if you look um, yeah nifty is definitely strong uh, that's for sure but bank nifty is weak and if you look at the Bollinger Bands, you can clearly see that it's absolutely consolidating on both the dices. Bank Nifty also, it's well, the band, look at the bands, it's consolidating absolutely. Bank Nifty also consolidating. But Bank Nifty is showing a beginning of an expansion on the upside, and right? so that's very positive. Right? It is going to bullish bias, but um, that bullish bias um, is not, it's on the edge, it's just uh, having a bullish bias. 
on the Bank of Tree, not much everything, but Nifty absolute bullish by six has started as per the one in Japan. So there is a possibility as per the one in Japan that this, this expansion can be upside and then price could move off and eventually Bank of Tree also may be catching up at least till the 45k. But looking at the support resistance levels, you can see that the immediate support resistance above for the Nifty would be to take out the gap in 1978 and then 19900 and then 20,000 nearby, and then there's a gap at 20,100 and then all time highs triple two, 20 triple two. Downside good support can be found at 19500, 19600, 9700. All this can act as support on the fall, and the 19. 400 also can be a support because that's where the 150 exponential moving average supports will come in and then if that's pretty then you have a gap support at 19300 nearby and then 9200 nearby 19175 and it's so 275 plenty of gap supports down there and if that is all pretty then you can back to the last gap of the 200 exponential moving average which is at the 18800 before that you have 90,000 dollar in number also that's how nifty is placed as far as the support and resistance levels are Concerned the bank T has got a primarily does the first take out basically with the green close above the 20 exponential moving average, then the 50 and the 100. That would mean that it has to take out the 44k, then comes the 44, 400, 200, and then 44, 700, 900, 45k. So, only once the 44, 45,000 is cleared, would be clear the previous swing highs. Well, Nifty has already done that 19. Uh, 850 kind of levels so that's that's long way to go for the bank to moves while even the expansion happens it can move big moves like 500 600 700 points can it can easily move so that's not a problem but that's where we are so um, uh, the downside supports would be coming in at 9 you know 43 uh, so the first support would come in at a 43 uh, uh, 300 and then if 43 300 that's where the 200, 200 expansion moving average is covered is that if that is present me it can even go back and retest and then make another swing low towards the 42,000 and, and below as well right so that would mean that the fee also will follow that if that happens but if it's it's uh, taking them you no know, staying above as long as it's staying above the 200 expansion moving average no, there will be more expa upside expansion. The levels are pretty clear. Right. It has to take out the 44 to begin with, and then it has to take out the 45k to uh, to turn bullish. And it has to hang on at the 44 300 and for 43 300 and 43 thousand levels in order to conserve it. That's what it is, right? So if I just quickly wrap it up, you now we had a negative close on the Nifty and the positive close after several days on the bank Nifty. Right. It's inside our consolidation that's happening. Is a bull trap flat close, absolute flat, flat, 18,900 flat close is what you see. Nifty intro, it was very volatile, it moved, gapped up, and then reversed in the morning itself, and then went range more late to that. Tough expiry considering the volatile moves and low premiums that they had. About 200 expansion moving average is what Bank Nifty is left with while Nifty is comfortably above all the moving average expansion supports. Right, so it's range bone consolidation that's happening. FS and the DSO buying to FS have been buying only two days in the last 17 or 18 weeks, and this is one of that, but that's a negligible quantity of 255 cores of buying at least FS have turned by as itself positive. Right, so uh, DIs are also buying some for less than final cores. So that's that's how we generate a flat today and not uh, end up before the falls in the bank lift. HDFs in Reliance are also doing okay, okay, green. Resistance support levels you already talked. Momentum is remains bullish on the nifty, or it maintains the other side about 60 while bank nifty, you know, sideways and then started so rising up with the shorter momentum of the daily charts. But the trend indicator already it's in the bear zones for bank nifty and bullishness is maintained by the nifty. The week has fallen, not 14, nearly 5% of fall has happened. If it has made it in the low volatility reaching less than 11.3, less than 12. Right, so the VIX has been in the 10 and 12, you no, know, 2 point, you know, 10 and 12 range for things for very, very long time. Although the granular volatility is very violent, in you no know, intraday volatility, 
is very 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 violent but otherwise day-to-day -day basis if you see it's just between this very tight small range although some spikes were seen earlier the like previous week in the market nose dive last friday we went up to two and a half thirty near to that and then now once again back below 12 at the low wall region technically the chance is bullish on the nifty absolutely bullish on the nifty was short term and bank nifty is struggling and basically both of them are consolidating and no big breakouts are seen after the 9800 levels right so that's what's a week uh, if you combine together i'll take a market view the bank nifty has to catch a last support the nifty for the rally to really happen until then it will be just consolidating sector wise major sectors if it's the it in the pharma except that two things all other major sectors out of the seven major sectors are contributing index they are close green now, almost all the sectors short term momentum is bullishness except the metal it has to catch up with our size about 60 although it's rising up so except that all the so there is there are leaders in the sectors that drive the markets it's why the bank why the nifty is holding it's just that the nifty bank they also has to join that isn't that is showing some green right and um it's a holiday hello thanks for being holiday halloween or something and you don't have use markets to get clues about how the trade could be tomorrow and dollar is rupees cool up sign of flattish and crude oil also has fallen gold is spiking up on the top slightly but otherwise no major worries as far as as we head towards the holiday season christmas seasons participation is reduced at this time and um, yeah so last two piece what i always say the investors if there is a dip that happens since we are on the top of a channel if it happens then that could be an opportunity for you to invest in sib modes and if you're a trader then you have to be cautious you cannot be straight away bullish although there are symptoms and signals of that right there you just have to be patient you know, to wait for the price action to support that so especially in the case bank nifty is not um not there fully supporting of the nifty until that begins just have to be patient otherwise it could uh, it, it could trap the bulls just like how it uh, slightly showed in nifty today it could be a bigger one also if you know if you're placing bets um bigger bets right so yeah manage your risk is all that you can do because as of now okay so things are fine but there's a lot of premium and the multiple expiries within a week's have scored up the option trading scenario nowadays as we know we have to figure out something else to, you know uh, is what it looks like right so hang on there happy trading happy learning happy investing and sub subscribe if you're not subscribed share to your friends and colleagues that reaches out to max thanks for watching bye bye